Howdy YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Gunman. So today we've got another clear coat review, back to somewhat normal content, so a bit of a break from the Tirana series, I know some of you will be happy about that, but um, either way, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a review and demo on the Standox Extreme Clear, so I thought I would point this out at the very start, the 8550, so that is a hardener, an activator for the base coat. Now you've got two choices when you use this clear, so you've either got to activate the base coat or use a specific wet on wet primer or what you may call a sealer if you're from the States. Uh, but either way, at the moment here in Australia, we don't have one of the wet on wets. I think it's like the black wet on wet, they were running low in stock. So we've had to activate the base coat. But uh, well, look, one thing that I would say about this clear coat is that uh, you probably won't even be using it unless your Standox rep or your Axe Alter rep comes out and gives you a bit of a run through with it because there is a bit of a specific procedure that you have to do. Look, to be honest, it's not that much different. As I say, the, the main thing is either activate your base coat or use their specific wet on wet. But the main pull of this clear is probably something I should have already mentioned by now, but it is an air dry clear. So you just walk out of the booth once you finish spraying, um, maybe leave the booth running for five minutes just to clear the cabin of the fumes, press stop on the booth and come back in half an hour and it will be as hard as a rock. Give it an hour, you'll be right to start polishing it. It is amazing. So you don't even need the heat to help dry it. Um, as you saw at the start, we've got a couple of different hardeners for it. So most of the time it's just been slow and extra slow. Um, I've found slow most of the time I like to use like the, the paint rep actually recommended extra slow he says he likes extra slow all year round um, now I've been using this clear for a, a good few months now like probably two months um, and I do remember the first couple of jobs I did I got a couple of hangers like a, a couple of decent runs with it so it is a little bit thinner um, than most clear coats but that can also work in your favor that you would just get a really nice glassy off the gun finish. You're not gonna have like a thick orange peel or anything like that. It is truly a pleasure to spray. I've found it holds a really nice gloss, so especially for how thin it is. It's just got an amazing gloss retention. Now it is expensive as all hell. Like I looked at the invoices the other day when, when the, the cans came in for the five litre can of clear just by itself, it's like 500 and something dollars. And for each hardener is like $120 each. So for seven litres, um, it's like, what's that? $750 and yeah, that's that's actually not actually, so cause it's two to one, you'd, you'd need like two and a half litres to go with the kit. So to make a full kit would be around $800. So extremely expensive well they do call it extreme clear it's yeah definitely extremely expensive but uh you don't have to pay for your bake cycles so I, I i did a bit of an ask the audience on my instagram page to try and figure out the rough estimate of what it's going to cost for an average bake cycle and um it, it's going to obviously vary depending on where you are but the best answer i could get it would probably be around like 50 to 70 dollars depending how hot and how long. So if you go for like more of a 20 minute bake at say 60 degrees, you might be, you know, 45 or something around that. Um, that's Australian dollars. And yeah, again, that, that's gonna, you know, change depending on where you are in the world. But, you know, I do take that into account sometimes when I'm doing a job. Like we, we don't use this clear on all of the jobs. Like we, we do some car yard work as well. So we've got the standoff standard clear that we usually use on the car yard jobs but if if i'm doing like one or two panels um you're gonna use what a couple of hundred mils of clear um which is you know gonna in the cost to say 10 to 20 dollars i guess it works out to about 10 dollars per 100 mils for this clear so you know if you're going to use 200 mils of clear on something that's what you know 20 dollars and then you, you know you don't have to bake it so yeah if you were using the standard clear sure you might save a couple of bucks on the clear but you would sort of lose those gains on the bake so another thing is it would have to be a environmental positive i guess you know like the less energy that we're using that's what they actually call it i think it's a le like low energy 
um, clear coat. So, you know, the fact that it doesn't need a bake means that it's obviously, you know, to get that job done, you're going to be using less energy. And I think I could be wrong, but I reckon give it 10 years, these kind of clears are just going to be the industry standard um, just for the sake that, yeah, the low energy side of it, um, you know, what you know the way the world's kind of going these days and hey i'm not against it if we can you know do something to improve the environment without any sort of you know impacts to us well then why not you know i'm not one of those uh activists who think the world's going to end in the next uh 10 days but <laughs> you know if we can move in the right direction then then why not so yeah what a wonderful clear coat it is as you can see it goes down really nicely i've been using the uh deville best gti pro that awesome turquoise gunman edition uh it's got a te20 air cap on it i've been opting for the te20 lately there was one point i was going for the te10 but oh, i just ended up finding that like uh the spray fan breaks up to an unevenness but i've just found the te20 to be um yeah much more of an even fan like there's no sort of dead zones in that fan whereas i've found the t e10 and even the t110 to have that um but yeah also i've got the 1.3 mil on so this gun here actually sat at home for about six months when i started at this job and i sort of found it in a box when i was cleaning up around christmas time when i thought nah that's got to come back into work that's too too awesome of a gun not to get used um and leading up to christmas always using the a and i black and absolutely loving it but this thing like after using it once i'm like man I, <laughs> it's 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 always happened with me and spray guns like the regulars to the channel will know that you know like I'll, i mean this is a pro not a pro light technically but you know it's it's always been you'll go around you'll use these other guns you really like them you, you might use them for a few months but then you as soon as you come back to your pro light it just it just clicks it just makes sense it's just so awesome if you ask me and especially with the te20 so te20 can be a little bit heavy-handed in winter to be honest so it is summer at the moment so that's probably why it's really clicking specifically because because it is summer but there you go what an awesome gun what an awesome paint system stando blue and what an awesome drop of clear coat this is i have had a few people say that over time it can sort of like shrink or something like that i'm yet to see it happen to be honest i've had nothing but awesome results out of it um yeah i mean it's a top of the line drop of clear if you ask me um if you hang around for another couple of minutes i'll show you another job that i did in it and also um how it holds up after a few days um yeah so i can't even remember the color code what was what was it like 3r1 or something like that it was it's not 3r3 because my corolla is 3r3 and this was it actually nearly looks like a um like a candy or one of those colors but it's actually not it's just a standard two stage metallic on this lexus but what a wonderful paint job very very clean as you can see nice factory looking finish no excessive orange peel and another thing that i love about standox and especially this clear it's just out of the box it just works out of the box you don't have to add extra thinners you don't have to i don't know you don't have to muck around with it it's just reliable colors are really really good i mean i'm lucky to have uh, the color card system so at the very end I'll actually show you a quick look at the the colors cards scheme that we've got but yeah nine times out of ten if not more like yeah 95 plus percent of the time on all of the new cards we've got a color chip anything that we don't have a color chip for I'll just get the spectro out and then um, yeah uh, I'll look I'll generally test the color like I will generally do a spray out but sometimes like on whites it's just so so reliable um that i'll just mix it and spray it without even testing like without even checking it but this one here i think oh, i can't even remember is it uh, hyonda i can't remember sorry <laughs> but yeah this is actually footage off of my phone so that's why it's a little bit more shaky i don't have the stability control and um the color looks a bit washed out too because it's on my phone but i just thought i'd give you a bit of a um different perspective for whatever reason so um that's a, it's a Kia Rio now I'm remembering sorry guys <laughs> um, but yeah again awesome job um, you know a few dollars worth of clear going on these jobs lately but um, I've definitely been enjoying spraying the top of the line stuff um, 
there you go how clean is it though so these jobs are early in the year after having a nice clean out of that spray booth took me a, a best part of the day I did the roof filters towards the end of last year they must have been getting quite full because I was getting stuff like dropping in my bonnets pretty badly but this here is as I said like I can't remember how many days it was after but it was either the next day or a couple of days after you can see that it's been fitted back up and isn't that just a wonderful red on as a side note that's a really nice looking red um, yeah this car here like it just came in for a rear bumper basically we just blend to the moon these days like that's just the way we do the jobs at this place but um, yeah there you go the standox extreme clear coat um, look in saying what I said at the start there may be some people that don't have paint reps that just want to get this stuff out so um, I mean in reference to the fact that they will probably come out and show you how to use it but there may be some people out there who just like the idea of an air dry clear um, but as I say just be be careful maybe even give them a call up if you are sort of playing from home type thing um, maybe just give a rep a call up and say hey look I want to put this over solvent base you know is it going to be okay or do I have to activate the base coat as well or something like that so I think it is going to be the future of clear coats but that's about it guys hope you did enjoy watching me paint something again in a booth I'll try to actually uh, incorporate more of this sort of normal spray painting vids into the schedules because I know some of you guys haven't really been loving the Tirana series as much as my normal content. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching and if you'd like to support the channel further, you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favourite is those spray suits. So they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it there's also hats drink coolers hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested <laughs>